Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm a member of this committee and uh, I am fully uh, aware of uh, the intrigues and the dynamics as far as uh, this department is concerned. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I have uh, few comments to make. Honorable Speaker, on our observations, number one is uh, the issue of uh, the stall libraries. Honorable Speaker, we have found out that uh, in Lafe, in Ramu, and in Elwak, there are three libraries that date back to 2015-2014 financial years. And up to today, they are not operational and they are not completed. The contractors have not handed over. Uh, some of them uh, have become a den for drug uh, abuse uh, 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 substance users. And honorable speaker, we have, honorable speaker, we have also recommended that these three libraries be operationalized, be completed, and handed over to uh, to uh, the department. The CEC and the chief officers, honorable speaker, have. Uh, told the committee during their appearance that donors are ready with books, with all the resources as far as learning materials are concerned, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, the other observation that is very important is that the exploitation of youth talent in this county. Honorable Speaker, we have seen that there is only focus on football in the county as far as sports activities are concerned. There is no talent exploitation of our youth on those who are expert in Boyam, those who are expert in athletics, basketball, volleyball, swimming, javelin, gymnastics, and other uh, uh, sporting activities, Honorable Speaker. That's also a gap we have uh, realized that the county department has not uh, fully uh, supported. On uh, lastly, Honorable Speaker, on the issue of Bazari. Honorable Speaker, when they appeared before the committee, the Department of Education, uh, Culture and Sports Chief Officers and the Waziri, the CEC, they are claiming that they have only released the Bazari for students who are in uh, Turkey learning uh, various courses, their upkeep and their fees. The rest of the money that is allocated for Bazari for the financial year 2018-2019 uh, is lying in the Bazari board account. And uh, they are saying, Honorable Speaker, that they are waiting the schools to fully uh, reopen so that they can release this, this fund. But on our recommendation, Honorable Speaker, the committee recommended that there should be immediate release of that Bazari before 15th December. And uh, uh, we will also make sure we follow up with the department so that they can release that money before 15th December, the timeline that we have, uh, the deadline we have given them. Honorable Speaker, uh, our sampling in terms of project visit has been only in Mandera East, and uh, we have seen also a serious gap in terms of people's teacher ratio when it comes to ECD teachers. When we asked them the hard questions in terms of why Mandera East <coughs> has huge number of ECD teachers they said that most of uh, ECD teachers in Mandera East are mostly mothers, old, uh, relatively old uh, and aged uh, uh, fellows who have been inherited from the former county council. And that's why you see, and also people with living with disabilities. If you go to Dawa uh, Primary School, if you go to Poistown, if you go to Bulaimbia, if you go to Township, there are more than 10 ECD teachers, Honorable Speaker, while there is no single ECD teacher in some of the schools in our rural wards. So that's also a serious gap that we recommended the, the, the department through uh, Mandera County Public Service Board to recruit uh, ECD teachers so as to fill the gap. With that, Honorable Speaker, I support.